Um, various issues come up uh, here, and I'm, I have three actually here that maybe will be taken up in later discussions, so I just uh, list them. The first one is that with remote work, there's going to be less clear-cut distinction between commercial and residential areas in cities. So we need to rethink the design of cities, if you like. Some services will need to transfer from commercial to residential areas. Now, second, we have new consumption patterns. There is more consumption at home, there is ca less casual socializing, less informal networking, in business meetings. Again, take this meeting that we're having now. If we didn't have the pandemic, I would probably come to Barcelona. I love the city. See a bit of Gaudi with uh, one or two of you. Socialize, talk, go to a nice restaurant, drink a nice wine, come back with nice memories and, and made new friends. And finally, gig work is unregulated. It does not offer good career jobs. It needs to be regulated. I just heard, in fact, that you had a, a big change, a big agreement in uh, Spain where um, it might affect the future of that. It would be very good if you had it. Over here, they keep talking about it. They are not doing anything about it. In the United States, of course, they wouldn't even think about talking about it. Uh, you know, just to give you examples, they, the gig workers, they have no sick leave, no annual paid leave for vacation, no pensions. The individual does not have control over the hours of work and things like that. Now, the question is, if you are going to do it, is who is going to provide them? That's a big, big question. Governments need to take more initiatives here to ensure that good gig work is a good work. Companies alone cannot do it, and I don't blame them because gig workers are independent workers.